So when you have something like a key card, uh, and I have a couple of them here, one from San Francisco, this one's from Las Vegas, and then this one is from New York. So if you have a key card and you want to clone it with a flipper zero, there's a built-in feature here that allows you to read the radio information and attempt to break into it and find out what the information is. If you succeed, then you can clone the card and you can actually use your flipper to get into your room. I've done this a couple of times. It's extremely satisfying and it makes people uh, amazed. This is remote control flipper. Uh, it lets me, I think I can just hit the buttons and I can control it. And I see, yes, that's actually what's happening on the screen. Uh, can I hit the back button? Why does it look all crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna go to NFC. So, all right, so before we go too far, I just wanna explain what this is doing. We have, mm -hmm. uh, after three years of development, Flipper's announcing new features. And one of the, the primary ones is RFID supported protocols. We've got faster nice. Bluetooth. We got supposedly faster everything. And then more infrared uh, ability, uh, 89 sub gigahertz radio protocol supported. That's really cool because I use the sub gigahertz radio a lot. Uh, external radio module support. So that means you could plug in other radios. And that's mm -hmm. really exciting to me because there's lots of other radios I would like to plug into this. Bluetooth two times faster, the apps catalog, which is interesting. I have yet to try out too many of the apps, but some of them are good. Uh, some of them I see are not as good, but we'll yeah. we'll dive into that later. So let's try to extract the MF keys. It says to hold the card to flippers back. Okay, there we go. It liked that one. So the one from San Francisco, it seems to be very attracted to. All right, we got a MyFair Classic system directory. Um, and again, this was honestly kind of uh, tedious in previous mm -hmm. versions when people were just like, oh, the flipper could steal your key when you're sitting there in the elevator next to the person. I'm like, no, it can't. Like, you're not mm -hmm. going to be on the elevator for eight minutes. And if somebody's like following you around with their strange orange and white device <laughs> pressed against your wallet for like eight minutes, like you've, you've got other situational awareness problems that you might need to get a handle on first. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, this seems to be going on pretty well. I'm not going to sit here for the entire three minutes, but I wanted to set it running and also just kind of give uh, a shout out to Flipper for investing in some of the things that people had been, I guess, kind of complaining about. It does mm -hmm. certainly um, make this device a lot less alluring if you have to, you know, just stay there with it connected for eight. I, I honestly found this would sometimes take 15 minutes or longer. I could put like a key card in my pocket when walking around and let it do its thing, but frankly, um, I didn't find it to be a very convenient experience. So a lot of these updates directly address some of these limitations. Um, and I think that it's pretty cool that they've chosen to focus on the things that I personally found some of the most annoying, um, such as not being able to find certain IR codes, sub gigahertz radios adjustment, adjustments for being able to do more with the sub gigahertz radio. I, I think mm -hmm. that that was probably most people's favorite tool on this and seeing it uh, have a bit more support is really exciting. The JavaScript support, I couldn't care about less. Um, I don't know JavaScript, but I know a lot of people do. So if you're not a fan of C++ or C, then that means you can uh, now also make your own apps in JavaScript, which is cool, but again, not for me. Uh, instead, I was also excited about shaving down the time on uh, this NFC subsystem and making it so you can do uh, card cloning, card emulation mm -hmm. a lot faster. So I can see, all right, we found 19 of 32 keys and we nice. spread all of our sectors. So I think it looks like it's trying to either brute force or whatever else. I know that there's also a nested attack that was listed here that I haven't tried out yet. And this was proposed as a solution to some of the shortcomings that Flipper had before, where it just wasn't possible to do some of these attacks without connecting it to a computer or to your right. phone. So for example, when you used to crack NFC uh, uh, locks or, or NFC cards rather, with mm -hmm. the flipper, it'd be a two-step process. You would need to go up to the reader, extract information, and then upload that information to your phone, which would use its cryptographic prowess to break that key and then feed it back to the flipper zero. At that point, you could then proceed to try to brute force one of these key cards that used a MyFair system. Uh, so that two-part process uh, confused and disappointed a lot of people that they that thought they could just you know point this directly. Right their card and get cracking. So uh, it's interesting to see that the nested attack has actually come to Flipper. So I I want to see how this works. And I don't think I have time to demonstrate it on the stream, but <laughs> it does seem like a, an attack that a lot of people are going to be interested in because it removes that second step and makes attacking right. uh, like a hotel key card or something like that, a one-step process that could potentially be a lot faster. 
these security vulnerabilities are real, mm -hmm. and NFC is a field that I think a lot of more a lot more people should be interested in studying because it's not yeah. as hard to, as you think. And once you learn how the provisioning works and stuff, it's it's pretty interesting and pretty cool. And the flipper kind of lets you get there by uh, trying it out for yourself. So if you have a collection of hotel key cards from past vacations, as I do, then you can certainly use uh, a flipper to learn more about NFC because I feel like of all the ways to acquire like NFC cards for free, right. if you forget to return one to the hotel or it ends up in your luggage or something and find it later, they literally don't care. These are like cents to produce. Right. Uh, so I have plenty of test ones myself. So.